on this segment of Try and Vegan with Mario, we are going to be celebrating the portobello mushroom, the portobello. These things are so meaty, hearty, umami. I found a vegan portobello jerky company, Savory Wild, and I asked if they could send me some of their jerky. Here it is, and we could do some, oh, so meaty. I was a beef jerky kid growing up. Throw this in a snack pack for your kids. I'm gonna, you know, surprise some non-vegan friends and folks and see what they think of this jerky and see if this really stands the test. So without further ado, let's get started on this recipe. The first thing we gotta do is we gotta make this cashew ricotta. I got some cashews right here. We soak these in water overnight. It softens the outside of me and it's so much creamier. I'm just gonna drain this liquid really quick. And then this is going into your blender or your food processor. A tablespoon of nutritional yeast, cheesy flakiness, pinch of salt, and about like a third cup of water. You might want to add a little bit more or less, but that's it. Couple of ingredients. Boom, let that go. Now, we're gonna go ahead and plate these. You can get this at the store, you can make it at home. Fig jelly, give it a stir. Now, right here, we got Savory Wild. They sent me their portobello jerky, sweet balsamic and golden fig. This is amazing. This is plant-based portobello jerky. You know, you picture like a charcuterie board or something you might bring to a party and you have a nice cheese, jellies, crackers. But this one right here, all plant-based. We're getting rid of dairy. Those cows are doing too much destruction to the land. Heart disease is at an all-time high. Oh, I'm just gonna crunch right into one of these. I'm picking the biggest one on set. Mm. Mm. Bam! Sweetness from the figs, the chewiness from the jerky on top with the creaminess of the cashew ricotta, crunchiest chips on earth. Let's change the way that we're eating, make it better for us in the environment. Love it, this recipe, mind blown. We're gonna get a little bit experimental with this stuff, test it on some other people and see what other people think about this portobello jerky and what their thoughts are on getting rid of beef jerky and making this the ultimate go-to. Quick snack on the go, high protein, high energy, super convenience. Oh, love it. All that when we come back on Try and Be with Mario. Lost in, baby, I've been getting so lost in. Everything about you be flossing. Wanna be with you to the coffin. I'm lost. We are out here in Santa Monica, California because I am back with the Portobello jerky from Savory Wild. They hooked me up with this straight out of compost t-shirt because we're thinking of all the different ways that we can make food that's better for our health, better for the environment. Portobello jerky, it takes 1.8 gallons of water to produce one pound of portobello jerky, whereas it takes over a thousand gallons of water to produce one pound of beef. It's portobello's. Does it taste and feel like beef? We're gonna get the real reactions today out here on Venice Beach. I was wondering if you guys would be interested in trying out a new type of jerky and shooting like a little video really quick. So are you a jerky fan? I love jerky. Love jerky. Now, what do you think? Uh, sweet balsamic or sesame ginger? Sesame ginger. Sesame ginger. All right. A little surprise. She has no idea. No. Nope. <laughs> We're about to find out. All right, good. All right, it's good. I'm even going to slide in for a little bit myself. Mmm. 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 It's good stuff, right? Real good. Really good. All right, so like, how would you compare it? Like, so this is a portobello jerky. It's chewy, similar texture as a regular jerky. I don't even know the difference. Really? It's amazing. So yeah. this actually consumes way less water, way better for our health, way better for the environment. So portobello jerky, mm -hmm. what do you think? It able to actually tastes like barbecue. Barbecue? Know. All right, that's good. Really good, yeah. Yeah, I gave it a didn't 10 even out of 10. Yeah, we got a 10 out of 10, let's yeah. go. All uh, right, right on. Thank you guys. Yeah, Have a good one, man. 10 out of 10. 10 out of 10. Okay. Yo, thank you, Angie, for trying this out with me. You got it. Thank All you. Right. Stay tuned for more delicious plant-based food on Trying Vegan with Mario. We out.